Heidi's body was transformed, though at the beginning she was slow to truly notice the differences. For years, she struggled with her sexuality. Then in 1997, she underwent a sex change operation and changed her name to Andreas. She didn't feel she had much choice. I didn't find it unlikely or particularly unpleasant because probably I was already caught up in this male-female thing. I chose to have surgery because I couldn't live in the body of a woman anymore. Heidi's training regimen in the mid-80s was so ambitious. She was lifting more than most male athletes. These are my training diaries from 1986. I once worked out that I lifted more than 100 tons in two weeks. As people noticed the changes in her body, the Dynamo Club became her only refuge. I stopped going for walks or to the shops because passers-by in the street would call me nasty names like faggot, gay pig. They picked on me and that's when I said to myself, I'll just stay here in the sports club. I'll make do with what I've got here because I was so scared of being bullied in the street. The strain on Heidi's body grew. She stopped competing before the 1988 Olympics because of irreversible damage to her hips and thighs. She was only 22.